Hi, I'm Leah for May Arts Ribbon and today I'm going to teach you how to make a corker hair bow. The first thing you need for your corker bows are some dowel rods and I'm using about one fourth inch but any any size will will work you can experiment. I also need a laundry clip, clothespin, take your ribbon, clip it onto the dowel. I am using 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon. You can also try different sizes of ribbon and experiment and it will give you different types of curling bows. You wrap and just twist your dowel, the ribbon onto your dowel. And what you're going to do is preheat your oven to 200 degrees and place your ribbon and your dowel rod place it all in the oven 200 degrees and you're going to cook your dowel rod for 20 minutes 200 degrees about 20 minutes you can go a little longer um, a little different temperature oven if you need to I placed another clothespin and trim the edge of my ribbon this will go in the oven again for 200 degrees for 20 minutes once your ribbon has been in the oven, you let it cool, take it out, let it cool, you unwind it from your dowel rod, and you will have twirly, curly ribbons. Now you can take these ribbons as they are and use them for gift wrap, use them um, on different projects just the way they are. But we're going to make a corker bow, so what you do next is you're going to take your ribbons and cut them. You're going to cut them at about three inches for the bows that we'll be making today. So every three inches, take your scissors and make a cut. I'm kind of guesstimating. So I'm making my ribbons about the same size. And you're going to want 30 ribbons for one hair bow. 30 of these for one hair bow. After you have your 30 little pieces of corker, you're going to take your ribbon and put it on a needle. I have needle and thread here. I'm just going to go every other direction here, spiral it out. And you can mix it up any way you want, any color. First, I have different widths of ribbon here, different colors. Put a little bit of my yellow. Once you have all of your ribbons on your needle, you pull your thread through and sew back. Kind of difficult with all these, but you push your needle through and tie it securely at the back. Now I have my bow all ready to go. You can attach it to a ponytail or I'm going to attach it to a hair clip. I get my Mayart's ribbon. Add some hot glue to the ribbon, open the clip, place the ribbon inside, put a dab of glue, and also one on the base. Now you've got a lined clip ready for your corker bow. Take your corker bow and your hot glue and I'm just going to glue the two together. Hold it for a second. I have a nice corker bow on a 
Mind Hair Clip. Thanks for watching this video. Check the Mayor's blog every weekday for new ribbon ideas.